and welcome to the Nexus Stage. You'll be watching us on channel 15 on your cable channel. You can also pick us up on UVerse 99 and uh, KDIRT 95.7 on your radio dial. Tonight we have a real good treat. We have a man come down from Lake Tahoe area where he's a legend, I hear. <laughs> And we're real proud to have him down here for the Nexus Stage Show. So the, in the next hour, two hours or so, Tuck Wilson is going to entertain us with his own original songs, which I, I've heard him before, and I'm really looking forward to this. And Tuck, I'll ask you some questions later, but right now I think everybody would like to hear some music. Wonderful. Thank you, Kirk. And uh, feel free to stop me anytime after a few songs. And uh, if you think of something you think people would like to, to know about my songwriting or myself, um, we just won't talk about my past. Kidding. A little bit later, uh, remind me to tell you how the inspiration for this song came, because this is, this is a one of a kind. There's a look in your eyes, a look of total devotion. And that look in your eyes says that it had to be me. There's a feeling inside me that comes with a flood of emotion. And that look in your eyes is what set it all free There's a look in your eyes every time I'm beside you And that look in your eyes says that you are in love and There's a feeling inside me wanting to be here beside you and I look in your eyes and I know this must be love And this must be love that I'm feeling inside I can't get away from it, I don't want to try There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide Cause you're all that I can think of I feel like I'm falling in love there's a look in your eyes, well you don't have to say what you're thinking And that look in your eyes says there's been no mistake There's a feeling inside me cause I just can't help but be thinking That the look in your eyes and the love you was my lucky break yeah, now this must be love that I'm feeling inside I can't get away from it, I don't want to try There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide Cause you're all that I can think of I feel like I'm falling in love There's a look in your eyes, yeah You don't have to say what you're thinking Cause that look in your eyes Says there's been no mistake there's a feeling inside me cause I just can't help but be thinking That to look in your eyes and to love you was my lucky break Yeah now this must be love that I'm feeling inside I can't get away from it, I don't wanna try There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide Cause you're all that I can think of I feel like I'm falling in love Yeah, right on! Thank you! Alright, good. Oh, the next song is called, uh, what is it called? Love me tonight. There we go. Got the whole song in my mind. Everything but the uh, everything but the uh, the name. Mm -hmm. 
Don't Don't say it's wrong I don't know what's right But I don't want to think about that tonight So hold me Just hold me tight As tight as you can Don't talk of dreams Don't talk at all Just hold me close enough to break down your walls And love me, love me tonight As much as you can I don't care about what others might say Just hold me closer and ask me to stay Something about you is easy and free So let it draw you to me Don't talk of dreams Don't waste the words Love is the music And we are the chords So hold me Just hold me tight As tight as you can I don't care about what others might say Just hold me closer and ask me to stay Something about you is easy and free So let it draw you to me Don't talk of dreams, don't talk at all Just hold me close enough to break down your walls And love me, love me tonight all night if you can So hold me Just hold me tight And love me again Thank you, thank you. Well, as Kirk mentioned uh, in the introduction, I live up at Tahoe. I really want to thank these guys for inviting me down to play here at Nexus Stage. It's a real treat to be in a TV stu studio, and everything sounds great, and uh, I'm loving it. Uh, but, you know, we've done a couple of serious love songs. I think we need a little change of pace here, so I'd like to do a song that I wrote. I wrote write some songs about life in a ski town and, and living at Tahoe, so this one's called Living on Tahoe Time. You know, there's the whole world runs on Greenwich Mean Time, and then we have our time zones of Atlantic Time and Pacific Time and Mountain Time. And but when you get to Tahoe, that all goes out the window. We got our own Tahoe time. Day to a sky so blue It's where it's almost too good to be true It's a day for the beach lying out in the sun Ignoring those piles of work to be done So I pour some tequila, squeezing a lime I'm living on Tahoe time, oh yeah I'm living on Tahoe time Well I quit a good job and took out my guitars Spending the evenings now playing in bars Struggling at times just to make the ends meet It may not be long till I'm out on the street Come time to retire I won't have a dime Thanks to living on Tahoe time Oh yeah, living on Tahoe time Wake up tomorrow and make a new start Be more responsible, do something smart I could start my new habits by seizing the day I could reset my watch, but I threw it away So I think I'll just buy more tequila and limes And keep living on Tahoe time Oh yeah, I'm living on Tahoe time Thank you. Thank you.
I'd like to do another slow one. This is one of my favorites called I Didn't Have to Love You. didn't have to love you And I didn't have to care I didn't have to open up Give my heart to you to share I could have stood apart from you I could have played it cool I'd let myself be vulnerable to being someone's fool But there'd be one more lost and lonely man Looking for meaning in a meaningless world You didn't have to love me no, you could have passed me by You didn't have to give yourself Or even take the time to try You could have been another ship That passed me in the night You didn't have to change your course And be my guiding light But there'd be one more lost and lonely man Looking for meaning in a meaningless world wasn't hard to love you No, it wasn't hard to care It wasn't hard to open up And give my life to you to share I didn't need a second chance Didn't take a second look I saw that fire in your eyes, babe, that was all it took to take One more lost and lonely man And put meaning in his meaningless world Parasite Thank you, thank you this is a song that I haven't done for many years, but uh, my freshman year in college, I came back from the um, dining hall and somebody said, hey, Eli's here, Eli's here, whoever the heck Eli was, you know, but that seemed to excite a bunch of the sophomores and juniors. And um, so there was an, a, a, there was a, uh, an apartment off campus and this guy was hanging out there and a whole bunch of people gathered, probably 20, 25 people gathered. And, and he stayed around for about three days. And he kind of was a facilitator of the best bull session you can ever imagine in college. And this guy, I mean, they talked all kinds of philosophy and metaphysics and, and all kinds of stuff. And then he just packed up and headed off. And I gather he was basically, this is, was the way that he lived. He went from college campus to college campus in the, uh, during the school year. And would spend a couple days at each school and, you know, people would bring a little food to keep him going. And when his jeans wore out, they'd, somebody would give him a pair of their jeans. And when his shirt wore out, somebody would give it. So here's a guy who's just living hand to mouth at other people's generosity, but nobody was begrudging it because uh, they just really loved having him there. And, and he was uh, contributing in his own way. But uh, it fascinated me to see somebody... Uh, who wasn't too worried about his 401k and his retirement savings and that kind of stuff, so. There's 
There's no plane I gotta catch There's nothing like bumming a match I'll keep on living free All I own is myself But there's nobody else Can make a claim on me All I have is a quarter Dirty shirt and jeans But if you need them worse than I Take them by all means Well, the ticket to freedom is to swallow your pride Just stick out your thumb, catch your eye Somewhere you've never seen might be Denver today or next week San Francisco Bay or have you ever been to New Orleans? Well, all I have is a quarter, a dirty shirt and jeans. But if you need them worse than I, take them. By all means You know some call me a parasite You know they might be right But I wouldn't trade With those who think they've got it made Then again I've got nothing to trade written for another friend who he'd worked for a few years for the Southern Pacific Railroad and he used to uh, on the weekends just go down the freight yards and hop on a train and disappear Friday afternoon and late Sunday night or Monday morning he'd be back on another train <laughs> you know and growing up I'd heard about hobos but he's the only person I knew who was was actually hobo and then he said don't you know don't even think of trying it because uh First of all, freight yards are very dangerous places. And secondly, he said, you know, somebody who works for the railroad catches you out there, they'll beat you to a pulp. But, uh, you know, he says, I still got a union card I can flash and they'll, <laughs> I'm okay. But I liked that and I liked songs that had a little bit of train sounds on the guitar. So I decided I was try a little bit of that there and then try to get that train whistle going. In my days hiding out in the railroad yard I didn't have much luck Trying to thumb a ride in a car Yeah, riding the boxcars May not be traveling in style But it's the cheapest way I know Of covering miles So hey, Mr. Brakeman Won't you please leave me alone just trying to get a ride on a train that'll get me back home Well, listen to the sound of the freight train whistles scream I keep a pinching myself saying, wake up, it's only a dream Yeah, you can catch a ride all the way back east by rail but if they catch you at it's son, you know they're gonna lock you up in a jail. So, hey, Mr. Brakeman, won't you please leave me alone? I'm just trying to get a ride on a train that'll get me back home. Hey, 
Mr. Brakeman, won't you please leave me alone? Cause I'm trying to get her out on a train that'll get me back home. It got me from Arizona to Tennessee. Sometimes I rode with cows, but I got there free. I'm gonna use that money to buy a little music instead. Cause America's the land of the free and the grateful dead. Yeah, give me a break, man. Won't you please leave me alone? I'm just trying to get her out on a train that'll get me back. Trying to get her out on a train that'll take me back. Trying to get her out on a train and get back a home. Thank you. I like to do a song. This is called Don't Tell Me. And this actually was a poem that was written by my sister, Lee. And I read it and I thought, hmm, I bet I could put some music to that. So, so I did. And I got a chance to play it for a few months later and she hated it. It took me many years to play it for her again. And she said, you know, actually, that's kind of nice, huh? It's just hard when you write something and you, you have a mental image of it and then you hear it in a different way. Don't tell me how much you love her Cause I once loved her too Her clear blue eyes, her radiant smile And just knowing she loved me too Don't tell me how soft her skin is I knew it long before you And the curve of her back, the tilt of her chin And her laugh, I love that too Tell me, tell me how much you love her And I'll look for some small clue To tell me that though you may love her She doesn't, she couldn't love you in the week. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yep. This is another one I haven't done in a long time, but looking forward to it. This is kind of a hokey country song of mine. And you had uh, a book, the, A Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich, and you had the Beatles, A Day in the Life. So I decided this would be a week in the life of Tuck Wilson. And then I decided I liked the, the title, A Life in the Week, rather than A Week in the Life. Sorry about 
cosas. On Monday and on Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon I told you I was leaving in my car And on Thursday and on Friday Well, I said I'd do it soon Now it's Saturday And here we are Is it wanting to hear the things you say to please me? Just to see you smile when I come home Well, I guess there's something in the way you squeeze me Doesn't let me stray far when I roam Yes, in January, February, March, April, and May I told you I was itching to move on But June, July, and August went Winter came to stay And I'm still here, I haven't gone Is it wanting to hear the things you say to please me? Just to see you smile when I come home Yes, I guess there's something in the way you squeeze me Doesn't let me stray far when I roam So I pack my bags each morning But when I kiss you goodbye My will for leaving somehow disappears I guess we ought to face it Or at least we've got to try Better now than in another 20 years Is it wanting to hear the things you say to please me? Just to see you smile when I come home Yes, I guess there's something in the way you squeeze me Doesn't let me stray far when I roam How about an American kid? That's a change of pace. You're going to know this is an old song just by the, the topic. But this dates to uh, a few years after the Vietnam War was over. And what, would, uh, what we should do about the folks who had gone to Canada, if, if anything, let them rot or let them come home or... So I wrote this song, it's called An American Kid. school he would cruise the strip listening to rock and roll and being here he never cared a whole lot about politics can't compete in teenage hearts with cars and chicks he's an american kid in your hometown but there's thousands more just like him if you look around downtown Billy never thought about or felt the change But the 
campus was in turmoil and things got strange When they burnt the Roxy building, he was on the news Must have been a shock to mob to hear his views He's an American kid from your hometown But there's thousands more just like him if you take a look around Congress didn't have the guts to call it a war They sent the kids and then they called up more and more When Billy got his notice in late July He knew he'd never be a part of such a lie He's an American kid, ah but what the heck There's thousands more just like him now up in Quebec Singing oh Canada, the home of the brave a haven for a generation we betrayed Oh, Canada, land of the free Beacon to the world of what we claim to be Holidays, it breaks his mother's heart. It's time to give what's due to all the boys who went to fight. And to do the same for those who stood for what they saw was right. They're all American kids with no hometowns. But it was thousands just like them who finally got that war shut down. some questions for you. Sure. I'm wondering, you know, you're writing all these songs about people. Now, these are real people, right? That you've met over the, the time, or is this yeah, a compilation of? Most of my songs come from, <laughs> come from personal experience. Uh, a lot of them are written uh, from people I meet in the mirror. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and some of them just, there. yeah, and some of them just, uh, I get an idea and it has nothing to do with anybody or anything but i just flesh it out it's a work of fiction like any other work oh, of fiction yeah. but it sounds great uh i was wondering uh, what kind of strings do you use too on that and uh do you prefer any uh, harmonica over another one those are both good questions uh the strings that i like these are martin studio and performance martin s and p and i use them on all of my guitars um just like the way they sound like the way they feel um, I play a, a pretty fair number of hours of guitar, and so um, coated strings are very popular these days. I do not buy coated strings, and the reason that I don't is they're designed to keep the oils from your fingers from dirtying the strings. Oh, okay. um, but I play enough that I actually wear the strings out against the frets. So when I take the string off, you can see these little divots look like half moons <laughs> out of the strings. Yeah. So having a coated string isn't going isn't to help that. If you're playing less often, and especially if your hands sweat a lot, then the coated strings will, will keep the life going. But I'm actually wearing out the strings rather than having them get dirty. So. Well, I learn something every day just talking to the musicians <laughs> that come through here. You know, I would not have guessed that coated strings made any difference. But that's me, you know, yeah. uh, piano a little bit. Uh, I really like your collection of uh, harmonicas there. Uh, is there any key that you prefer being in? Uh, I mean, is your voice in a certain key that seems to fit the harmonica? Um, actually, the reason I have a collection of harmonicas is these harmonicas are all, each one plays in one key. 
So I've got eight of them sitting here because every time I write a song in a different key, I need a different <laughs> harmonica. So I like the Lee Oscars. I use them. Hunter makes great harmonicas as well. Uh -huh. um, I've just gotten so I like the, the Lee Oscars. And, you know, every year they go up a little bit in price. And they used to be an inexpensive thing you could buy. And now they... So you don't get those big ones where you can just change a key with a punch of a button. Well, it, you're all in one key on these. Yeah, with these you're in one key. If you were just a harmonica player, you'd get one of those big, probably you know, I think they call them echo when they like do blue, a lot of harmonies. Yeah, and yeah. right, and yeah. they're called chromatic when you have that can push it in because then it can play any note on the scale. Oh, okay. And so the um, these are chromatic. So it means they are they have one scale, um, but the ones that push in are a lot more versatile. But now you got to hold it with one hand, be able to push with the other. I can't. <laughs> I don't have any hands free. So, so for hands free harmonica playing, you got to kind of stay st key specific. Yeah, I never saw Neil Young or uh, Dylan playing. Uh, excuse me while I stop the guitar right, and go right, up. A, right. Yeah, so I don't have the luxury of being my own harmonica player usually. So, so uh, how, what brought you to Davis? Uh, I remember seeing you and hearing you in the park, and that's what uh, gave me the idea to bring you here in the first place. So, uh, well, it, I appreciate it, that you did because I'm loving doing this. Oh, we're loving um, it here too. Yeah. You know, my daughter went to UC Davis, and she's been oh. living here in Davis since she graduated. So it's a blue devil, yeah. Then. So it's all right. Yeah, it's, all good. Yeah, and it's a couple hours from Tahoe. So I'm usually too busy up there playing music to travel in the summertime, and too busy skiing to travel in the wintertime. But <laughs> spring and fall, we like to come down and visit. And uh, so basically, you're a singing ski bump. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly what my siblings think. <laughs> yeah, I know. They just don't understand an artist interpretation of life. Uh, yeah, they, they don't understand the hardships I have to endure. You know, I have to, sometimes I have to play at the beach. Sometimes I'm in the mountains. Oh, you know, yeah. every now and then I forget my sunscreen, and, and that's really <laughs> horrible. So. Sort of like the hobo guy, you know. <laughs> you know, you don't really need sunscreen on a train. <laughs> But I'll let you get back to playing here, and uh, after we take a break later on, I'll come back and ask you some more questions. Super. All super. right. And Thanks. This is great. And I noticed, I noticed you did bring some friends with you, too. So if anybody out there in K Dirt land is listening and hears clapping and stuff, we do have an audience here. So yeah. Don't worry about that. That's not a mistake. Thank you. It's a very small audience, but it's a great little audience. So. <laughs> Sure. I mentioned to Kirk um, a little bit earlier that it's been a real treat for me. There are a lot of songs here that I'll be playing today that I haven't done in a long time because I do a lot of playing uh, in restaurants where I'm background music and people want to hear covers of, of songwriters that, and they want to hear songs they know rather than my stuff. Um, and I actually finished up a few songs this week, just knowing that this was coming as I, as I was gathering my songs together and looking at what I might play. Um, this is one of them. And uh, this was just written on a lark. Uh, when we first moved to Tahoe from the East Coast, um, a friend of ours bought a pug, one of those short-nosed dogs. And uh, he was a pretty cute little pug. And she was cuddling him, and she said, oh, he's just 32 pounds of love. And I thought, ooh, there's a song in that, 32 pounds of love. I like that. And it was a, it was a holiday party, so they had a turkey and they had a ham, you know, and I noticed that uh, I'd say, gosh, I didn't think I ate all my turkey. <laughs> or did I eat that whole slice of ham? And then I'd see this pug over in the corner with a big smile on his face, and I, oh, okay, I know where that went. Well, I like turkey and I like ham. They're what made me what I am. I'm Bubba, 32 pounds of love. And parties give me such a thrill. I hang out beneath the grill. I'm just 33 pounds of love. Yeah, I don't need no stinking chip. I'll just lick the bowl of dip. I'm 34 pounds of love. 
No, I'm not crass, I'll never beg But a little slobber on your leg You might drop your plate and spill your wine And once they hit the floor, they're mine I'm 35 pounds of love Yes, some like kisses and love, some like hugs But there's no substitute for pugs When it comes to absolute, unconditional, unqualified, and totally adored oh, Excuse me, somebody dropped the bratwurst I love I actually uh, went to a party at their house last year, and a couple of days before the party, somebody posted a, a little poster on Facebook that was perfect, so I printed it out, and it's got this pug in a chef hat holding the tongs for the barbecue, and next to him is a grill full of hot dogs, and the caption says, you want yours licked or not licked? Just kidding, they're all licked. <laughs> Yeah, how about Pretty Birds? That's a good one. Now we're going to go back to some of the more introspective songs here. A little less commercial, but one of the things that has fascinated me is that the more deeply personal the song is that I write, it seems as though the more people come up to me later and say, wow, I really identified with that song. You know, when you get when you get on a level where you feel like, okay, nobody else can have felt like that, well, you'll find out everybody's felt like that because we're all human and we all have the same kind of emotions and we all go through stuff that triggers those emotions. I was living in New York when I wrote this song, and I'd written a couple of verses, and I had a friend over, and I played them for him, and he said, wow, that's pretty cool. He said, that's like having some kind of pretty songbird and keeping it in a cement cage. And I said, oh, I like that. Thanks, James. a song One for the road before we move along Once we hit the road we can't go back again So I feel as though I've lost my only friend like to see you but my hands are tied I may have been wrong sometimes but I never lied But I can't talk to you unless you come to me And all I have to say is just be what you could be Say your words as if on stage And run and hide inside a shell Like a pretty bird in a cement cage Cause you're afraid to be yourself Take some confidence to be you naturally Not something that you think your friends would like to see what you have to give is so much less than a whole Because of all that's lost by acting out a role You say your words as if on stage Run and hide inside a shell Like a pretty bird in a cement cage you're afraid to be yourself It's time to say goodbye But what I'm going through I'll relive every minute I ever spent with you 
Though I'll think those thoughts a thousand times again So within my mind those days will never end Another song from the same era. You have such a capacity for cruelty, you're ruining me. You stare at me blankly and say that you want to be free. It's the in thing to be. But freedom is one thing that's not mine to give It's not something you buy, it's the way that you live You've been living someone else's life all along You can't figure out where you might have gone wrong You have such a capacity for cruelty You're ruining me Your coldness to others around you came so easily can't you see you're not helping yourself by teaching yourself to ignore what were worries before and your fantasies are destroying your friends pushing them far beyond fantasies aims you have such a capacity for cruelty you're ruining me talk about goals and you talk about dreams but you never pin down what anything means When you look at yourself in the mirror sometimes Don't you wonder why there's nothing but lines You've been living inside of a dream so long The bubble popped and you can't go on You have such a capacity for stupidity It's a shame that you're me Uh, I'd like to do a fun song. Uh, this is called Heading Into Trouble Again. This was written on Tuesday. Today's Saturday, right? It was written on Tuesday. But as I said, uh, as I was gathering my songs together and organizing what I might want to play, I noticed this uh, on my hard drive uh, a document that said uh, heading into trouble and I remember thinking that'd be a pretty cool name for a song so I opened it up and there was a verse and a bridge and I had no recollection of ever writing them but there they were so I looked at it and I said well the third and fourth line need to be switched and what I've got here is a country song so I guess I just gotta think what's the key to writing a country song and I thought of Toby Keith so I just said to myself what would Toby do I had seen it in quite some time And she looked across the bar like she could read my mind I'd forgotten that a woman could look that good And I could tell by her expression that she understood It looks like I'm heading into trouble again I try to tell myself that I should take my time But I tell myself to love her wouldn't be a crime I know I'm heading into trouble again So 
So I bought her a tequila and she tossed it down She looked at me and said, why don't we blow this town There's a hot springs in the desert and a nice full moon And I feel like a Ferrari that has just been tuned Oh yeah, I'm heading into trouble again Maybe I'll come out of this with no regret But I think that I'd be smarter not to make that bet Cause I'm heading into trouble again Guesses be they wrong or right It might have been a waste or a hell of a night But there's nothing like the desert on a nice full moon And there's nothing like Ferraris that have just been tuned The running it full throttle down the interstate Yeah, maybe that's the reason I just can't wait To be heading into trouble again I don't claim that I don't claim to be Toby Keith, but I hope I did him okay there. How about, she doesn't like my music. There's a there's a fun one. This is another one that fortunately is not from personal experience cuz I'm very glad it's not since it's called She Doesn't Like My Music. She doesn't like my music doesn't like my songs she doesn't like my lyrics yes she says i got the words all wrong she's mean yes she's cruel so why do i think she's cool she doesn't like my kisses she doesn't like my hugs she pushes me away just like i'm a swarm of bugs she's mean yes she's cruel so why do i think she's cool I'm just a pair of deuces, yeah, while she's a boat with kings. I'm just a piece of broken glass, and she's a diamond ring. You know, if she said, you're a loser, I'd probably say, well, honey, thanks a lot. She's everything I'm not, that's why I think she's hot. like my loving I give her all I got She doesn't like my mother Well, she's got a point So what? I'm nothing but her fool That's why I think she's cool Thank you Okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. All right. Hey, catered fans. You're on 95.7. You are. You are on 95. I'm on 95.7, and they're listening in 95.7. K-D-R-T. K-Dirt. 95.7, correct? And uh, we're being streamed live on the Internet at uh, www.kdrt.org. So... Good. What do we got here? Um, she told me. How about she told me? I don't know whether I 
play harmonica on this one or not, but I'm about to. She told me she loved me, she'd never go. Yet from her actions you'd never know I'm Feeling neglected, I'm being ignored Seems like I've been here before Here we go again Looks like we're nearing the end Here we go again With nothing but time left to spend just like the last time, the same as the next It's time to start over and rewrite the text Remember the bad times, forget all the best Maybe catch up on some rest Here we go again Looks like we're nearing the end Here we go again With nothing but time left to spend Here we go again Looks like we're nearing the end Here we go again It's always so sudden, it happens so fast Where did they go to, the good times that passed Isn't the first time the question's been asked You know that it won't be the last Here we go again Looks like we're nearing the end Here we go again Nothing but time left to spend This is, uh, I like to write, write songs when I'm on long drives in the car. I uh, just kind of get something going through my mind, and that's a good place. Songs come from different spots. You never know where it's going to come from, but when I'm driving in the car, I can just kind of get a, a line or two going, and I find a melody for them, and then I just start expanding that, and I get a verse or a verse in a bridge, and then I'm, then I'm just looking for the, the words that will go with the other verses. Other songs get uh, written because I'll just sit there and... Do a little riff like that and say, ooh, I can't waste that. I got to have a song that goes with that riff. So <laughs> that's the hardest thing to do is take a riff and then figure out how you're going to make a song out of that whole song out of that riff. Um, the first song that I started with was an interesting one because uh, if you remember, that was a... There's a look in your eyes And it's got a pretty distinct rhythm to it there So where that song came from was I was sitting on a riding mower mowing my lawn in Vermont I had a couple acres there And, and I realized that the mower had this kind of rhythm to it So I started look, looking for some words that went well with the rhythm And by the time the takes a while to cut a couple of acres of lawn, so by the time the lawn was done, I had the whole song written, all the verses, the, the chorus, and everything, and then I had to go in and figure out, okay, on the guitar, before I forget the rhythm, I got to figure out how to do this on the guitar, and that was, that was kind of fun, but this was, uh, driving through Georgia.
Been up all night, for three days are running Sometimes I think there ain't no fun in being me I'm a decent shot and I'm so tired I feel like I'm hanging from piano wire, don't you see? There's gotta be a change come somewhere There must be relief and a place to hide I know I couldn't make it, couldn't bear Find out what's on the flip side So confused, completely baffled I know I'm about to come unraveled Hard to face My nerves are frayed, my eyes are red I get no rest when I go to bed Too quick a pace There's gotta be a change come somewhere must be relief and a place to hide I know I couldn't make it, couldn't bear To find out what's on the flip side be a change come somewhere must be relief and a place to hide no I couldn't make it couldn't bear to find out what's on the flip side and I gotta get myself back together again Thank you. and this next song came from Arlo Guthrie he doesn't know it one of my friends said, man, you should have sent it to Arlo. He would have done it. And he, that's, that's quite a compliment, but that would have been a great thing. Um, but I saw Arlo play, and he mentioned that he was trying to write a song about Watergate. So this is a long time ago. He was trying to write a song about Watergate, and he said, I just can't do it, you know, because I want it to be a fun song and funny song. He says, but when I start writing, I start thinking about it, and I just get so pissed. It's so angry. I can't make a fun song and a funny song out of it. So I figured I better do it for him. I went home and, and wrote this song. And this is called The Ballad of Dickie and Jerry. Tell you a story, remember I don't claim it's true About a couple of heroes who fought for the red, white, and the blue With actions above and beyond the call With plenty of courage and plenty of gall And no hesitation to let someone else's head roll He said, Jerry, I got me in kind of a fix I know it's hard to believe But I finally run out of tricks And those Democrats just won't be satisfied Now do you think that a man like me would have lied I'm asking you straight Are you willing to stick by my side? Jerry said, Dickie, there's really not much I can do won't have them saying that I cut a deal for you You know my integrity's not for sale But if I get the job, I'll at least go your bail We both know this country would die if you landed in jail Dickie said the way I've been hounded The way they've been putting me down it's just got to be stopped, you know you can't kick your leaders around And all those radical students who yell about love Well they can take all their freedoms and give them a shove There's some things the government has to be valued above
recipe for disaster and um, what's, the, what's the other one? Feeling good here before long. All right, we are on KDRT 95.7 FM. I'm Tuck Wilson coming to you live on the Nexus Stage Show. And thank you for listening. I just liked this title. It's called A Recipe for Disaster. Do I capo this one up or not? Do you know? Do you remember? Yes. There we go. That's what I thought. You take a bottle of whiskey In a pinch you could substitute gin You set a glass on the counter Pour the whole thing in It's a recipe for disaster Don't you know that I know that it's true It's a recipe for disaster Just like loving you There was a time when I thought that my life was all roses and wine There was a time when I foolishly thought that your love was all mine Now it's hard to believe I thought you'd be mine for all time And my heart and my soul went with you when you left me behind Take a bottle of whiskey In a pinch you could substitute gin Set a glass on the counter and Pour the whole thing in It's a recipe for disaster Don't you know that I know that it's true Recipe for disaster, just like a loving you. Yeah, just like a loving you. Thank you. Um, and I'm gonna want to do a Rocky Mountain Ranch here soon, too. Since we're on the subject of writing songs, this one's about three, four years old. I was just doing my thing at Tahoe, minding my own business up there in front of the microphone, singing my songs. And I finished a song, and this guy back in the back of the audience pulls his lighter out, and with his great big frizzy red hair, he flicks the lighter on and hollers, Freebird! So I kind of look at him. And all of a sudden, these words just popped into my head. And I thought, okay, that's cool. I got to sing those to him. And it's all right that it's only one verse because we're just having a little fun. Well, by the time I finished the first verse, I had the second verse. And by the time I finished the second verse, I had the bridge. And by that, that, that I, so this song literally wrote itself while I was singing it to him. And of course, this is a song called I Won't Play Free Bird. You can put away that lighter before you singe your hair. 
You can yell till your horse, I still won't care. I won't play free bird. No, I won't play free bird. If you're stuck in the 70s, frozen in time, that's your problem. I won't make it mine. And I won't play free bird. No, I won't play free bird. my mind you cannot change oh no I won't change yeah maybe you thought that would make you sound hip but you dated yourself with that one little slip I won't play free bird no I won't play free bird City Blues. That's a good one. But I, let's say feeling good. I want to do the New York City Blues. Staying out late every night Till my patience is short My muscles are tight I thought it all out It just doesn't seem right Gets to the point The living's a fight Every day the feeling grows stronger Every day the minutes Seem a lot longer Gotta get away No reason to stay Not even another day Taking it straight It cuts my throat like a knife Sick of this big city rock and roll life And I'm tired of everything I have And I've had of everything I am Or ever have been I'll probably tire of anything I'll ever be Just doesn't seem to leave a whole lot ahead of me up a well afternoon being confined in a dirty old room all of my dreams will go up in a spoon if i don't get out of this city real soon nothing here to keep me alive it's still closing new york city at five gotta get away no reason to stay not even another day you can keep your exhaust in the smog that comes from your cars don't want to be a big city rock and roll star and I'm tired of everything I have and I've had of everything I am or ever have been I'll probably tire of anything I'll ever be And that just doesn't seem to leave a whole lot ahead of me Waking up the noise in the halls Staring straight back at the same four walls The city's got a way make us feel so small You wonder if there's anything left at all I came here to follow my dreams But now I'm falling apart at the seams And I gotta get away No reason to stay Not even another day oh, I'm going back to where people will give you a hand don't want to play in a big city rock and roll band Thank you, thank you. This is Tuck Wilson coming to you live from Davis, California on KDRT 95.7 FM. And being streamed live on www.kdrt.org. Thank you for listening. And I want to thank these guys, Kirk and, and Cliff, for having me down here. Um, this is a blast. 
So if you guys are enjoying it, I sure am. Uh, I'm going to play this. This is just a fun song. This is... Uh, every time I play this, I, I, I want a band, but... It's called Feeling Good Tonight. And you know that the music sounds good The crowd's caught the rhythm You're rolling right away with them Feeling just the way that it should And when you really get going And the music's just flowing You know that it really sounds tight They're gonna have a good time Cause the band's feeling good tonight You let the rock and roll send them It gathers momentum And the place gets a little bit loud well, it'll do something to you when the message gets through. You know you got a really good crowd. And the place is jumping, the band's just pumping. Yeah, everything's going just right. We're gonna have a good time because the crowd's feeling good tonight. Place is just a buzzing and they're still lining up at the door. Yeah, you got the place hopping, there ain't no stopping. You know they're gonna wanna hear more. And they'll all be staying just as late as your plan. Ain't no ending in sight. We're gonna have a good time, cause we're all feeling good tonight. We're gonna have a good time, cause we're all feeling good tonight. Gonna have a good time. We're all feeling good tonight. I've got a little uh, instrumental that I wrote. So uh, let me do that. Let me play that one out and. Uh, Come see. I have no idea what I haven't played here, so if you could take a look and pull a few up and just have them ready, that'd be cool.
Thank you. We are going to do uh, three-part harmony. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good, 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 good one. We're not going to do the Millennium poem. Uh, so uh, a little bit earlier, I did a few love songs that were a little depressing. And there was one, uh, there was one year where I just cranked those things out one after another. <laughs> my, my friends were all kind of looking at me like, "Woo!" And uh, so th that led to, to this song. This is called Three Part Harmony. Everybody's always asking me why I don't write happy love songs. Why I choose a minor key. They're not effervescent, they're manic depressing. A pessimist parade of negativity incessant. A melancholy tale should be a sentimental fine. But yours are like the ravings of a sick, demented mind. Every ray of sunshine's buried in a shroud And every silver lining has to bring its own cloud Why must you sing such a somber melody Always so devoid of any sense of harmony And never any three-part harmony Everybody's always asking me Why I don't write happy love songs Think that some of them would see There's never been any happiness, it's always been a shabbiness. A side of crowd of tried of lie denied, nearly died. I always read in storybooks that love would set you free. But love with you has always been the chains of misery. A quick examination yields illuminating clues. Relationships with you, it seems, never come in twos. There's always more than two in any kind of you and me. In everything with you, there has always been three. And I just don't like three-part harmony. Thank you. This next song is called America. And it would not exist if Google had existed when, when this was written. Um, I saw on PBS a Pete Seeger concert many years ago. I was probably in eighth grade or something like that. And I just remember really loving one of the songs that he did. And unfortunately, I was never able to find the song because you couldn't just Google it up, right? And I went through a bunch of song books looking for it and was never able to find it. So I just decided I'm going to write my own song. So different melody, different lyrics, um, but a little bit the same story. And this is about um, the immigrants coming to America and, and what it represented, this phenomenal land of opportunity for them. Um, and it's interesting because... Yesterday, as I was thinking about, you know, I would never have written this if I'd been able to find Pete Seeger's. I would have just learned his song, and I, this wouldn't exist. And I thought, well, but Google does exist today. Let me Google up and say, and sure enough, I found the Pete Seeger version. And, and the other thing I found out is Bruce Springsteen rewrote the song and expanded it. And what I find interesting is we have three songs that deal with the same story, um, but they're all from a very different angle. They all deal with the, the hope and the excitement of coming to America. And mine just deals with the fact that um, the American dream didn't, didn't work out as envisioned for everybody. Um, it was a wonderful thing for some, and for others, uh, it ended in tragedy. And uh, Pete Seegers does also, but he kind of points out the fact that these are people who came over and then they, they just kind of worked themselves to death. As the immigrants, they were they were very poor, and they worked 60, 70, 80 hour weeks. Um, and Bruce Springsteen uh, put it, uh, what I thought was an interesting twist on it, because uh, he deals with the immigrants coming and uh, how hard they work, and then he makes the point that these are always the people that we're trying to keep out, right? Whether it's the Italian, those Italians, the Irish, the Chinese, or the Mexicans, uh, the people who are here are working hard and and uh, really trying to. They came over with the American dream. Those are always the ones that we're, that we're putting down and the ones that we're trying to keep out. So let me find the correct. I think I've got the correct harmonica here. 
And this one's called America. Once in America, in America Once in America, I will send for you When I have a job of something to do You and the children will come to me too Let's bow our heads and all join our hands. Let's pray for this America land. Once in America, in America Once in America We'll have lots to eat From what I have heard We could even buy me The kids will have schooling and Shoes for their feet Let's bow our heads and all join our hands And we'll pray for this America land Once in America, in America Once in America I can still hear him speak He was hit by a horse cart Crossing the street I can still see him lying there Dead at my feet Must tell her the best that I can. That he lies in this America land. Thank you again. This is Tuck Wilson. I'm from Tahoe. Playing for you live in Davis, California on KDRT, which is 95.7 on your FM dial or www.kdrt.org. Yay! All right, this is a uh, good called the good life. It's what we all want, isn't it? A 
People tell me to settle down Carry a ball and chain around Lock up my imagination And go to work for a big corporation Find a good wife They call it the good life Originality has its place But get back in line, kid, you'll upset the pace Sure I see what these people mean You gotta trade in your morals Give up your dreams for the good life It's all for the good life And all your opinions are memorized your manicured lawn makes up for the lie A love of possession, insatiable craving Will rapidly see you stuck senselessly slaving For the good life, it's all for the good life America's symptoms of social disease Have proven contagious now overseas But it doesn't hurt me, cause I know I lost But on my gravestone, I want these words embalmed my thoughts on the good life Well, he took our advice and he settled down Went to work at the biggest damn factory in town And he raised up a fine young family A credit to our society They strove for success and they all did well Cause they had no idea how to think for themselves While the way that he lived was the way that he died Decaying through slow metal suicide Called the good life Lost to the good life Thank you. I'm not going to do thinking of you or Millennium Town, so we'll go with that. Yeah. And... We are going to go back to the very first song that I ever wrote and kept, which is called I Don't Believe You. And right now I'm going to miss an old friend, Bob Cannon. He and I used to play together many, many years ago when we were in college. He just released his first CD within the last year. It's called Unbreakable Heart, Bob Cannon. Great songwriting on that. But Bob used to do the second guitar part and the harmony on here, and uh, every time I play it, I miss that. to take me high but you always bring me down don't believe you're trying as hard as you like the thing I just can't take much more it's driving me to drink I need some time away Maybe we could try again sometime Trying to find some more words to fill an emptiness inside. Don't know what you're thinking, but the coldness of your hand leads my mind to wander to some desolated land. I need some time away. 
Maybe we could try again sometime Try again sometime Thank you. All right. Thank you. We're going to go back to Tahoe. Back to Tahoe. And one of the first things that I noticed when I moved to Tahoe was every time it snowed, I was surrounded by people on their cell phones calling home and saying, oh, man, I'm stuck in Tahoe again. I'm just going to have to stay here and ski a couple more days. And then I realized that with the right attitude, you can get stuck in Tahoe any day of the year. All right? So... If that sounds like a good idea to you, just take out your cell phone, dial home, and repeat after me. Honey, I'm sorry, there's just no way that I could get over the past today. It's coming down hard and it's already deep. The road home is slippery and way too steep. So I guess we both know where that leaves me. I've really no choice. But to stay and ski Honey, I'm sorry Yes, I really am But I'm stuck here in Tahoe again Well, I was riding my mountain bike Down from the top Hit the brakes, but I couldn't stop And I'm still pulling thorns out of my tush That came from a big man's Anita Bush I know I shouldn't rehearse it, so honey, I will With a bottle of wine and a steak on the grill Yes, honey, I'm sorry, I really am But I'm stuck here in Tahoe again I only wish that you had been free I really wanted you here with me and I'd have called in for you, you know I would You better believe I could make it sound good Cause that would have been like a dream come true To be stuck here in Tahoe with you Well honey, I'm sorry I really am But I'm stuck in a huge margarita jam Nobody's moving, it's crowded as heck And there's no telling when I'll get off this deck They keep bringing pictures, I'm doing my best But sometimes it feels like there's just no rest Honey, I'm sorry, you know that I am But I'm stuck here in Tahoe again Yes, I only wish that you had been free I wanted you here with me I've have called in for you, you know I would You better believe I could make it sound good Cause that would have been like a dream come true To be stuck here in Tahoe with you To be stuck here in Tahoe with you Empty streets and I'd rather be sailing Good picks I like this TV studio thing and the, and the radio. 
it's very low key. It's kind of laid back here. Um, I wrote this song when I was living in New York City. I used to live there in the summer times when I was in college. My sister lived in New York, and she would be out of town in the summer. And being a frugal and practical college student, it seemed like a foolish thing to me to leave a perfectly good apartment sitting empty in the middle of Manhattan. So I would do her the favor of going up and occupying that apartment for her. And most of the uh, clubs at that time were either in Greenwich Village or on the Upper East Side. I lived on the Upper West Side. So I would take the subway downtown to uh, Fourth Street. And, and the hard thing is you get off from playing it, and maybe it's 1 or 1.30 in the morning, but you know, you've been up there on stage and you're pumping out all this energy, so it might be 1 in the morning, but your, your body is you know, ready for the second half of the soccer game or something like that, right? You're just keyed up and your mind's racing and your blood's pumping, and there is no way you're going home and going to sleep. So uh, one day I decided to try walking part of the way home, and then as I started to get tired, I figured I can jump on the subway and ride the rest of the way. And the next thing I knew, I was home at 72nd Street, having started at 4th Street. But what fascinated me also was as I went through Midtown Manhattan... I mean, these are streets that I'm used to seeing tons of cabs and buses and all the traffic's just backed up and honking and honking. And, and I'm walking through there and there's not a soul in sight. There's not a single car on the streets. There's not a person out, just me walking up the streets. And it, it was like a completely different world. And it was kind of cool. So I wrote this song about it. Empty streets and aching feet don't know where I am Look at my watch, I guess it stopped Must be close to 5 a.m. by the glow The sun's sure coming up slow In the east you can hear the sunrise sing The west is still a purple light show Without their motor cars, the streets are comforting. Just can't seem to bring myself to go home. Though it's miles away at the break of day, you can smell the cool sea air. Makes you pause and ask the cause of the city's neon glare. The dies as timers sense the light skies. And in the east, you can hear the sunrise sing. The west is still a purple light show. Without their motor cars, the streets are comforting. Just can't seem to bring myself to go home. streets and aching feet I don't know where I am I look at my watch I guess it stopped it must be close to 5 a.m. by the glow and the sun sure coming up slow and in the east you can hear the sunrise sing the west is still a purple light show Without their motor cars, the streets are comforting. Just can't seem to bring myself to go home. To go home. Just can't seem to bring myself to go home. Thank you. Here's another fun one. I wrote this for my oldest daughter, Ashley, when she was in ninth grade and about to uh, enjoy her very first final exams.
And I remembered ninth grade and my very first final exams. What a delight. So I tried to capture the way that I felt about my final exams here for Ashley. We're fishing, I love to go fishing but Sitting on a riverbank, dreaming and a wishing I'd rather be fishing than sitting here in final exams I wish I were skiing, I love to go skiing it's So exhilarating, it's so mind freeing I'd rather be skiing than sitting here in final exams We're sailing. I don't know a thing about sailing, but it's gotta be sitting here knowing I'm failing. I'd rather be sailing than sitting here in final exams. Thank you. And uh, this is a song. I mentioned one earlier that was derived from Pete Seeger. This was uh, derived from a friend of mine who's also a songwriter. And uh, he's written a song that I've never heard. And I don't think he's ever heard this one. But Chris Adam um, was talking about he had an idea for a, for a uh, song. And he thought it'd be kind of cool to have this high noon shootout on a street in the Old West. And Pepper McKay was the, was the hero. But the other duelist was a video game that had come to life. Well, I liked the idea, but I wound up with it doing a different twist and, and writing a bunch of words and um, started out with... Wound up. I needed a nice... My video game was going to be a bad guy, so you wanted to shoot him down, right? So I wound up with Blackjack Spade. How's that sound for evil? And uh, so I wrote the words, and I really didn't feel like coming up with a tune for it. Uh, so I've always liked the traditional American uh, tune, John Hardy. So I just stole that and uh, set the, the, the words to that. Because it ought to be a flat-picking tune like this. Jack Spade was a gunslinging hand. His name spread terror in the West. And those who tried his hand now were buried in the sand. The others all said Black Jack was the best. Yeah, the rest agreed that Black Jack was the best. I'm going to take a quick break here and I'm going to change the key because that's way too low for me. Felt a sense of awe as silence swept across the whole saloon. But I never saw him draw, no, a flash was all I saw. For me, the shooting ended all too soon. Yes, for me, it was over all too soon. Get a roll of 
quarters when the barmaid comes around. Order up another round of beer. Cause I'll be sticking around, yeah, until I shoot him down. Till I beat Pepper, I'm not leaving here. Blackjack, till I beat you, Blackjack, I'm not leaving here. Cause Blackjack Spade is a video machine. The fastest gun in all the West. From his place upon the screen, now he's picked my wallet clean. And I'll agree that Blackjack is the best. Yes, I'll agree that Blackjack is the best. a very small audience here but I'd love to see what they have in mind for okay okay super So we're going to do Ernie and the Calm Before the Storm. Wrap up, okay? Hmm? Ooh, let's do Calm Before the Storm and Boogie Woogie. That's better. Well, I mentioned earlier that uh, sometimes it was a, a little riff on the guitar that inspired the song. This was, this was the one I used as the example. And this was... Uh, it's about just being tired of things as they are and knowing there needs to be a change in the status quo and you're just waiting for the uh, catalyst that's going to make it happen for me that was also called senior year in college haven't been working my studies are shot to hell I've been doing nothing but being bored but damn it I do that well and I know that it's gonna break hard soon but it's still kind of peaceful and warm so I've just been taking advantage of the calm for the storm Skies are getting cloudy Looks like it's gonna rain Well, that's nothing unusual It's just a yesterday again And I know that's gonna break hard soon but it's still kind of peaceful and warm So I've just been taking advantage Of the calm Before the storm Yesterday brought nothing Tomorrow will be the same well, I've tried to convince myself I'm happy But I know it's only a game So I'll desperately reach for something And go buy another guitar But I'm only trying to fool myself It can't be more than you are And I don't see myself as worth anything So everything pulls me down all I've been doing is wasting the time Till they dig me a hole in the ground And I hope to hell it breaks hard soon Cause I'm sick of being peaceful and warm And I'm tired of taking advantage Of the calm Before the storm What's the name of it? Set on... Um, 
like to thank uh, Kirk for inviting me down here to Nexus Stage. I've had a blast. I hope you have enjoyed the music. Um, it's really a lot of fun to spend a couple hours here in the TV studi studio. See myself staring right back at me on the monitor. Um, so thank you, gang, for having me down here. Thanks to Davis Media Access and uh, KDRT 95.7. And Cliff Gamble, Cliff and Kirk, you guys, uh, thank you so much for, for uh, I've been listening to the show at home, by the way, just uh, so I'd know what, what, uh, what you guys are doing down here. So I appreciate what you're doing. It's a lot of fun. And this is called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a song I wrote when uh, college was over and my dad and my friends were telling me it was time to get serious about life and I wasn't sure I was ready to. And so... I thought this would be a good song to end with because it probably has a lot to do with why I'm living at Tahoe playing guitar and standing here in this studio and not on the, you know, like 30th floor of some building in Pittsburgh being an accountant. Uh, well, don't want to mention any names. Um, but I do have a brother who would fit that description. And uh, he's the, uh, he's actually the one who introduced me to folk music. Introduced me to Pete Seeger, Joan Baez, Tom Paxton, Peter, Paul, and Mary. He ruined my life, and, and I thank him every chance that I get. You say I don't know where I'm going well. Maybe I don't care. And it doesn't matter to me where it is, even after I'll get there. Why should I run my life by your standards? Well, I can't even run it to mine. I may not land on all fours like a cat But so far I'm doing just fine And it's my life, let's not forget to that I live however I can I've been having a fine old time Drifting along like I am So you tell me it's time to get organized Get my life all neatly arranged But I'd rather trust my instincts to tell me When it's time for the change I'll go looking for rainbows And you'll get a job with your chums Yeah, so you can become the executive I'll ride the rails with the bums You tell me I'm just chasing legends But sometimes they're true, I'm told So while you're pursuing a paycheck Hey, I'll search for pots of gold And it's my life, let's not forget that To live however I please and it isn't a crime to spend some time Footloose and fancy free You tell me it's time to get organized Get my life all neatly arranged But I'd rather trust my instincts to tell me When it's time for the change Wanna be your subject matter, something to analyze. Let the marvel at the truths I've told and to wonder about the lies. Yeah, my father said, Do what you do, best son, and it's haunted him ever since. Cause you can go out and kiss a toad, but that doesn't make him a prince. It's my life, let's not forget that to live however I choose. So why would you have me spend my time singing somebody else's blues? No, I'd rather go through life barefoot than in somebody else's shoes. Because life is how you play the game. It's not something you win or lose. Yeah, life is how you play the game. It's not something to win or lose.